On March 17th, the tiny Messenger spacecraft completed its primary mission to orbit and observe the planet Mercury for one Earth year. The mission has completely altered our understanding of the solar system's innermost planet and has been so successful that it's been extended for another year. Scientists have found that Mercury's core is larger than anticipated. It occupies 85% of the planetary radius. The researchers used Messenger's radio tracking to develop the first precise model of Mercury's gravity field. When combined with topographic data and the planet's spin state, this model sheds light on the planet's internal structure, the thickness of its crust, the size and state of its core, and its tectonic and thermal history. Many scientists thought the interior might have cooled to a solid because of the planet's small size. However, subtle motions measured from Earth-based radar, combined with the newly measured parameters of the gravity field, plus an internal magnetic field that signifies an active core dynamo, indicate that the planet's core is at least partially liquid. Mercury's core is different from any other planetary core in the solar system. Earth has a metallic liquid outer core sitting above a solid inner core. Mercury appears to have a solid silicate crust and mantle overlying a solid iron sulfide outer core layer, a deeper liquid core layer, and possibly a solid inner core. These results have implications for how Mercury's magnetic field is generated and for understanding how the planet evolved thermally. A planet's topography can reveal fundamental information about its internal structure and its geological and thermal evolution. Ranging observations from Messenger's Mercury laser altimeter have provided the first ever precise topographic model of the planet's northern hemisphere and characterized slopes and surface roughness over a range of spatial scales. The spread in elevations is considerably smaller than those of Mars or the Moon. The most prominent feature is an extensive area of lowlands at high northern latitudes that host the volcanic northern plains. Within this lowland region is a broad topographic rise that formed after the volcanic plains were emplaced. At mid-latitudes, the interior plains of the Caloris Impact Basin, 960 miles or 1,550 kilometers in diameter, have been modified so that part of the basin floor now stands higher than the rim. The elevated portion appears to be part of a quasi-linear rise that extends for approximately half the planetary circumference at mid-latitudes. These features imply that large-scale changes to Mercury's topography occurred after the era of impact basin formation and large-scale emplacement of volcanic plains had ended. The Carnegie Institution has had over 110 years of extraordinary discoveries. To continue this tradition, Carnegie scientists need your support. For more information about this and other cool science, visit our website at carnegiescience.edu. This is John Strom.